Dilemma with creative art bringing you the best art tutorials on YouTube. So if you're an art lover, do consider subscribing this channel and don't miss any important updates about my tutorials just by clicking that bell icon. In today's tutorial, we're going to make this beautiful and colorful sculpture flower using all different colors of sculpture paste I have. And for the background, we are going to make use of different types of mixed media from using a stencil, mixed media paste, glitters, using silver glitter powder colors and making use of these beautiful metallic microbeads with resin. So friends, do watch the complete video and do check out the list of materials with their links from the description box below from where you can buy them online. So let's start the tutorial friends. First of all, we are going to need a base and for base, I'm going to use a 30 into 30 centimeter pre-primed canvas board. Other than this, for base, you can also use a wooden plank or an MDF board. So now first of all, we'll start by preparing our base and for that, I'm going to make use of silver dust powder which is from Fevicryl and this dust powder has to be mixed with medium 2 to get a perfect blending. So here I have taken some silver dust powder and this is how it looks. I'm going to add just a little bit of medium 2. This is a blender which helps to blend this kind of dust colors and using a paintbrush directly apply it on the base in this way. Here I'm making use of a silver color. You can also make use of gold. And now I'm thinking to add a little bit of silver glitters. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to sparkle this glitters randomly on the base. Not much on the center part, just on the sides. This is good. And finally, I'll let it get dry for at least 20 minutes. Now after 20 minutes, our base has got dried up completely and this is how shimmery and glittery our base looks. I love the glitters and also the silver coloring we have done. So now let's start doing our next step using stencil and for this I'm going to use the biggest size of stencil which is home decor stencil of 14 into 14 inch from Little Birdie and this is the design we are going to use. Now place the stencil exactly where you want it to be. Okay this is the exact place and using tape secure the stencil with your base in this way. And now I'm going to use mixed media paste which is 2-in-1 gesso and modeling paste, white color and a palette knife to spread the paste all around the stencil. So hold the stencil from one side and then gently drag the modeling paste in one direction in this way. And now, gently pick up the stencil from one side, be very gentle. And finally, this is how beautiful it looks. Now we will let it get dry for at least 2-3 to three hours and then the base will be absolutely ready for our next step. Now let's begin our next step for which I'm going to use almost all the colors of sculpture paste I have from Little Birdie. You can simply use the ones you like.
for the center i'm going to use something called rice pollens which have this kind of long ending of pollens and i'm going to fold the entire center using this pollens i'm going to not make any special center just going to fill it entirely using this pollens so i'll just fold the entire hub in this way and cut it directly you can also use tape if you want but i'm directly going to place it in center a little risky but yes like this now i'm going to place few leaves After placing all the leaves, we will let the leaves and flower petals get dry for at least 24 hours and then if needed, we can do the coloring part. I'm going to leave these beautiful petals as it is because there's a lot of shading and so many different color combinations in these petals and I really want it to be seen in that way. But for the leaves, I'm just going to make use a little bit of fresh green color and for the sides, red color. So take a little bit of green in your paintbrush, mix it with water and then pass it through the center line in this way. This will just give a little bit of brightness to the entire leaf. We don't want it to be more. A little is enough. And now just take a little bit of red and pass it through the edges of the leaf in this way. This will simply give it a contrasting border and a very beautiful look. After completing the coloring part of leaf, this is how beautiful our sculpture painting will look. So now friends, we will let it get dry for at least 2-3 to three hours and then let's do the final step which is to use varnish. For that, I'm going to use the decor varnish glossy version from Little Birdie. This adds the perfect amount of gloss and protection we need for our painting. So let's pour it in a container. And using a flat brush, gently start applying it on the sculpture paste. You can clearly see how beautifully and instantly the color changes into a gloss version of the entire painting. That's also a reason I love it. Now we will let the varnish get dry for at least 2-3 to three hours. Now for the outer side where we have placed a lot of glitters and we don't want those glitters to wear off or just fly away. So for that I'm going to use the artist picture varnish. This is a spray varnish. You simply have to shake it well at least for 5 minutes before you use it and then press it. And then spray it horizontally once and then vertical once. Each time do a generous amount of spray to secure all the glitters on the base. So I'm going to do this and bring it back. Now till the varnish gets dry, let's prepare some resin for our final step of decoration. So here I'm going to use the Expo Art Resin from Little Birdie. And this is the easiest type of resin you can use because you don't need any measuring unit. You can simply use a spoon to measure this resin. Here I'm using my smallest measuring spoon. And I'm going to add two spoons of part A. 
then adding one spoon of part B which is hardener and now give it a very nice mix using a spoon or an ice cream stick it is done and it is ready so let's check on our painting it's already been four hours it's already been four hours and yep this is how beautiful our painting looks now i'm going to add this resin just a little bit in the center so that the rice pollens does not move anywhere in future they're also very well fixed up because of the varnish okay and now i'm just simply going to add this resin manually on the sides in this way and then on this side in this way i'll keep a little bit remaining and then i'm going to use the mystic rose color metal microbeads from little birdie spread it on the resin in this way and to add a lot of them and then using the same stick i'm going to spread these metal beads in random direction Now in the same way, using the ice cream stick, I have spread out all the micro beads in the surrounding and this is how it looks. As we have mixed these micro beads with resin, so it will stay on the surface and be protected and won't move out in the surrounding. So now friends, we will let the resin cure for at least 24 hours and then this piece will be absolutely ready to hang. After 24 hours, the resin and varnish has got dried completely and finally this is how beautiful and glossy our mixed media art looks. I absolutely love the creation we have done together. Just look at the beautiful different colors of petal we have made in this flower. It is like a dream come true. And the microbeads gives it such a dreamy look as if the pollens are flying off the flower. I just imagined the entire painting in this way and it looks exactly as I imagined and I wanted to make it. A beautiful art piece like this one can brighten up any space in your homes and fill your heart with joy as I'm feeling right now. So friends, do give it a try, make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this tutorial. And if you do like my videos friends, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.